Today is December 31st, 2012. I will be interviewing my grandma, and her name is Jackie. She is 70 years old and has lived in the U.S. since 1980. It has been 32 years. Grandma, how did you get to the U.S.? Oh, that is uh, 1978. Uh, we before that, we the whole family lived in Vietnam. That is included your mom, Autumn, and your uncle Ken, and your grandpa Tom. Then 1978, we have to move from Vietnam to China for a short time period. Then we took a boat, boat from China to Macau, and lived in the refugee camp. And we stay there for half year, then we fly on the Pan Am, which is the largest plane in the world, from uh, Hong Kong to San Francisco. Grandma, how about your boat? Ex your experience on aboard the, the boat? Oh, that boat, the boat is only a fishing boat, and a wooden one, and no motor, you know. Then it's whole 102 people included 14 kids. 14 kids can be in a little bit cabin, what they call, and the top of the cabin is covered with those um, uh, bamboo uh, sheet, you know, not anything metal on that the boat. And for every day on the boat, we can have only one meal, which is included a little ball, like a, a big uh, duck egg of uh, rice. That's all we have for a day, you know, and no no chair, no nothing. Everyone just sit on the floor. The children, four, 14 children, in the cabin, squeeze together, and parents won't see the children until we get to Macau, and the boat almost sink. And that's why after we land, the uh, officers there, they burned the boat. They were too afraid that we carry germ into Macau. Why did you choose to come to the U.S.? Like, why did you leave Vietnam and China? Oh, that's it because at the time, uh, Vietnamese Communist and Chinese Communist Party, both parties had some conflict. So the Vietnamese the, uh, Communist Party, the government, decided to kick out all the Chinese descendants. Grandma and grandpa were Chinese too, so that's why they just come knock the door and you go. You know? decide to come to the U.S. because at that time you have Uncle Joe. He lived in uh, U.S. in Provo and he um, asked the church and the church sent Mary, yeah, Mary to uh, Mary Crane. And she's a very nice uh, lady and she sponsored us, so that's why we have come from the refugee camp to Utah and stay in Provo. What was the hardest thing about moving? Oh, for uh, and, uh, any time you move, it's very hard for the family because you have to leave behind a lot, a lot of stuff, a lot of memory from where you live for them, that many years. And when we come to U.S., because uh, we don't know how to speak English at all. And we don't have a house, and we don't have the money, and uh, we don't use to this cold weather, you know. So that everything is so hard. Grandma, are you glad that you came to the U.S.? Like, do you enjoy being here? Oh, I'm really glad that that's uh, Grandpa and I and take uh, your mom and your uncle come to U.S. and we stay in Salt Lake for that 32 years, you know. Because, as Grandma remember, you know, when we first came, we have only $20, $20 in the pocket for the whole family of four. But now, after 32 years, you see, Grandpa, your, your mom, your uh, uncle all graduated from college and got a good, get a good job. And um, Grandma have uh, you, Philip, and, and Adrian, grand, grand kid, which is I like them very much, you know. And also, summertime, we can travel, you know, and we even go back to China for visit, and we go back to Vietnam for visit too, you know. So I enjoy very much. I'm lucky that I stay here, and I'm retired now, stay home with you guys.